Hello future cadets i hope all of you are staying safe and studying hard so it's a big big day for all of us we have a very special guest today in our worthy talks miss indulekha nayar recently she has secured all india rank 3 in the cds 2 2021 exam and it was her first attempt and today we will be trying to decipher the various hacks and approaches she applied to crack this exam indulekha welcome to worthy shala thank you sir thank Firstly, you firstly so congratulations from the entire vardishala community yes thank you sir and yeah. i have been a part of the community too so yeah. so we want people like you who are from the community and giving us the results so i wish aapki success se inspire ho ke kafi sare aur students bhi exams ko crack kare uh, indulekha sabse pehle yaar wo batao how was that moment when you saw your name in the pdf <laughs> it was very unbelievable so it was my friends were there with me when this happened and even they recorded the like you know my reaction and it was very unbelievable i couldn't believe my eyes i thought for a moment no for hours i thought that it was a fake list because <laughs> still i couldn't believe i couldn't you know let myself be happy to that point i got ar3 so it was very happy and i called my parents and everyone were really happy and what was the reaction of your friends family how was the reaction everyone sir like uh, they were already like i knew it i knew it and they were not that surprised but i know i know how you know hard it is to crack this exam to be in the merit list with 75 girls uh, getting recommended so the top 16 was very unbelievable for me but they were already very much like yeah i knew it like that so that actually you know that is something i am very grateful for for because my friends and family believe in me a lot true indulekha matlab wo every successful person ke piche there is a whole team that works i can understand that and your friend and family would be very proud of you indulekha wo kya motivation thi agar main janna chahu what was that spark that pushed you to join the forces hi yes sir um <clears throat> talking about that uh, when i was in my second year of college i got to know about this women military police rally and uh, then i uh, appeared for it i applied for it and i started preparing for it that till that moment i had no much dreams of my own i was just flowing with the time and at, you know uh, with everything college and all the extra curriculars i was i am i am a really outgoing person so i was enjoying my college till then with no aims so after that i apply when i applied for it and i started working for it i felt this urge to actually want something like for the first time i actually wanted it so i worked hard for six or more months and when i appeared for the rally i couldn't clear it like with seconds uh, only like eight st uh, students eight girls completed the race that is a uh, one one mile race and uh, i was the eighth one and i actually completed when they pulled the rope so that was very heart breaking for me and uh, that moment i realized no matter what i want to join the army i am not going to give up and when uh, on the uh, the train ride home i actually searched like what are the other options for a woman lady to join the armed forces and i got to know about the cds and the day i got home i sat and i started preparing because i knew that i couldn't think uh, whether it is possible or not because that moment or a list of things will come like all the negative aspects of it like uh, how hard it is how you know how bad i am right now and how much work i'll have to put in so i never thought about that side i just went head first into this that's inspiring indulekha matlab sometimes it's happen ki people ek bar ek exam mein fail ho jate hain so they take it to their heart ki yaar ab mujhse ye chhota exam hi nahi nikalna how would i crack a bigger higher exam so hats off to you you were not able to crack a smaller exam and then you aimed ki yaar ye chhota exam is not worth it main isse bhi bada aim karungi i would aim something higher and you aimed for cds ota jo nda se when nda was not there was one of the most premium entries and is, it is still one of the best entries for lady officers to join the forces so hats off to your motivation and the uh, never give up spirit failure for you has truly been a stepping stone to success so indu leka when you reached home when you decided ki yaar ab to taiyari karni hai so that is the situation of a lot of people at this moment they decide that they have to appear for cds but now they have absolutely no clue of how to prepare 
सो वट शुड बी द अप्रोच लेट्स डिसाइफर दैट एंड डाइसेक्ट थ्रू इट की वो क्या अप्रोच हो सकती है समबडी हुई एट अ कम्प्लीट जीरो हाउ ही कैन बी इन अ पोजिशन टू एस द एग्जाम सो वट आर द ब्रॉड ओपनिंग रिमार्क्स दैट यू हैव रिगार्डिंग दिस एग्जामिनेशन प्रोसेस so uh, i believe cds exam is totally different from the ssc or fcat or anything which actually we can uh, go by a factual way or static you know kind of things we can anyone can learn it but then for cds we have to prepare ourselves like from a base level we have to have a strong foundation of gk and english. for us gk and english only because it is ota so So for that, what I did is, sir. Uh, first of all, I just uh, took a lot of previous year question papers. I started doing it, even though I knew I wouldn't get about ten or fifteen marks in any of the GK papers. I knew it, and I was very bad. I believe the first time I took this test, I got like eight or nine marks. So, so then, uh, but I knew that doing this would actually give me that idea. What are the kind of questions are coming? From where, so that I can study, you know, make my strategy in that way. So I just. and i did a lot of the question papers and then i uh, research more about it in youtube like how other people are studying not to just completely copy it but to understand it in a little you know broader sense so i did it and afterwards i took a lot of classes and uh, uh yeah ek by jose exam prep had a lot of um, trial classes for 7 days i took it from my my phone my father's phone my sister's phone everyone's like that i studied with it and then uh, for youtube also helped me immensely because i never sir uh, because everyone studies for it from ncrts i never touched an ncrt for this exam i just used youtube and uh, after my foundation after i did a lot of foundational classes uh, in cds level i went for ias level practice questions uh, civil service level practice questions in youtube i practiced with it a lot for 3 to 4 months i just sat and practiced and whatever i you know, didn't know i wrote it down and by the final week of the exam i had a huge chunk of papers with that practice notes and all the points. and for my exam i just revised it in the final days i just kept on revising it and i knew so that if i don't get around 130 or 125 marks i won't make it to the merit list there is no chance at all so i knew that i had to score very high marks that is why i took this ias level questions more seriously than cds because sir more than actually you know this uh, studying these things upsc have if we you know like sir you would already know that upsc have this kind of you know like question style that we can understand even if we don't know that answer we can understand which is the wrong statement just by reading it so that kind of like um, and also sir you had this uh, dark art series so in that you also like well uh, in a very nice way explained how upsc question and be cracked just by looking at it so that also helped me a lot and i started practicing with that more and that helped me score more than 20 plus marks just by that method so that is how my cds preparation went great indu lekha so first thing jo ek bar step wise break kar lete hain the first thing it was you downloaded the previous year questions and you solved them just to get what i call the diagnostic test jaise doctor ke paas aap agar jao na sabse pehle wo sare symptoms ko note down karta hai so you did a diagnostic test jisme aapko pata chala what's the level of difficulty that is appearing in the exam and then you also got a like a brock ball park idea of ki aapka knowledge base vis a vis the desired knowledge base mein kitna gap hai and how we can fill that gap the second thing was you did not re- rely upon the books per se but you gained knowledge from a lot of different sources and then it was practicing higher level questions taki jo cds mein question hai you are able to sail through them and finally you applied applied the various dark cards ke jo formulations hai the intelligent guessing and all of that to boost your score so this is like a good way to appear for the exam approach the exam for somebody who is starting completely from a blank slate indu lekha so like you studied you prepared alone or was there a group of friends who were preparing simultaneously with you because kafi bari group study versus solo study versus uh, going to an offline coaching academy or online coaching academy ki debate bahut chalti hai aspirants mein i know sir uh, i prefer to study alone because i make my own strategy and i like to work by it only i don't that is that has 
how it's been from a really young age, from my 12th, 10th, 12th, that time on, I like to make my own strategy and I like to sit and, you know, see through my schedule. Like I make daily, like before going to sleep, I make a list and uh, next day I make, take everything and buy that. I study like that only. So I don't want to force another person to take my strategy because whatever is weak and strong for them might not be for me. So I like to do it alone mostly. Okay. And about this, uh, that one has to join, join a coaching academy to crack CDS. Is this a reality or a myth? No, sir, because uh, for FCAT and all, I believe coaching academies can give a lot. But for CDS, we have to have that understanding by ourselves. No matter how much somebody try to spoon feed you or somebody try to explain things to you, if you're not willing to put that work, you won't be able to, you know, understand in a UPSC level. That's what I believe, sir. So self study is the go-to way i guess for serious preparation and that's uh, partly true for other exams as well because if you study by yourself then things get internalized in your mind spoon feeding doesn't help uh, i also concur with that induleka so uh, let's go into subject wise things let's start with english english is like some of the people are too afraid to score in english they believe that it's english that's not allowing them to uh, cross that cut off mark so how did you approach english Sir, I'm an English honors graduate. So I believe that helped me a lot. And I'm very grateful that an English paper was here because that helped me score in my exams a lot. And uh, but more than that, but even for this also, when I started uh, my uh, preparations, I wouldn't get much marks, like 30, 40 maximum for English. But then uh, that that is something that also needs a lot of attention. I sat down and I wrote down the parts of speech because parts of speech is the most important part. We have to like really in a deep way understand the parts of speech so that we can attend the parts of speech section, fill in the blanks and everything else, this error detection and sentence arrangement, everything needs parts of speech. So I, I, I'm a very ba- I was very bad in grammar. Even though I was an English honors gra- graduate, but still I had to sit down and it's a lot. And also I got this previous last 10 years question papers that one book was there. Whichever publications, uh, it doesn't matter. But it uh, I whatever I was uh, weak at in English, I practiced with that only. Because English for the CDS have a specific pattern. The questions are so similar that if we practice from just from that book, everything is that is enough. So I preferred that. And I also uh, wrote down all the synonyms and antonyms I could find. Whichever vocabulary, whichever word was you know hard for me, I wrote it down. And by the time of the exam, I had a very big list of around 600, 700 words. And I kept on revising it, just reading it. I don't even uh, give much thought to it because 700 words, we can't buy hard. So I just read it and left it there. But for exam, when it came there, like many questions uh, I had already revised and it just came to me. It, you know, out of nowhere, it remember anything. But then when I just read that word, it just linked to this option. So that also helped me. Okay. So passive memory, may vocabulary and grammar play, you started with parts of speech. So Indulika, who somebody who's starting afresh in English, what would be your advice to him? How should he approach and what are the important high priority topics for CDS that if they are weak in English, they should at least do these topic, topics so that they can get a decent score in the exam? Uh, whoever however whatever level it is for English practicing is the most important part because and also like uh, I know many people wouldn't have a good base in English because we are only Indians it's not our first language or anything and it's that's okay but then if that is the case we should uh, you know one should seriously sit and work on it the uh, speaking communication skills and you can read a lot of books to improve English because it's really important for CDS so whatever it takes, we have to work on it. So uh, more than that, for in the exam specifically, we can just practice more, a lot. And there is this uh, book by, uh, I don't remember the name, sir, but there is this vocabulary book. And Norman Lewis, I think, uh, yeah, Word Power Made Easy. The red that one. book. Ah, yes, uh, Word Power Made Easy. Uh, that book uh, really helps because I started reading it just, just not to miss out on anything. And it covers, we can cover it in three months. And by that time, we will have a good base in English, like the vocabulary wise, we will have that will help. And uh, a lot of every area, like if somebody is weak in error detection, I was very weak in error detection. I just sat and I used to practice every day error detection, like 10, 20 words every day. And uh, 
we will understand that the questions are so similar the errors can be so similar the you know the grammatical mostly it is grammatical error in it and even that are so similar and the kind of errors are also this sometimes it's this just the same so practicing will really help just practicing from previous year question papers because english is a very broad subject we can't go on doing other things and expect that for to come in serious so i would say just limit yourself to the previous year question papers and similar ones and there's a lot of youtube videos where teachers help to solve these questions we can rely on that so youtube is a very very helpful place we can actually get a lot of help from and a lot of really good teachers are there in many many different channels so we one as week we can make use of everything because at the age of internet we get a lot of help in internet so what was the approach for a grammar section as you said you were not good in error detection so how did you build the base for grammar because error detection would be there filling the blanks in grammar so all these areas would require some uh, amount of control over the grammar yes sir and uh, so for that i told you that i every parts of speech i made detailed notes on the whole parts of speech thing so how every did you study this these topics uh, youtube sir or uh, yeah google anything i don't yeah i didn't have a specific source uh whatever works like uh and the thing is after i write down after i make my notes i go again and watch other similar videos and just to listen to them so that it just comes to my memory just you know give me a foundation so whenever i am not studying also whenever i am eating or something i just put on a video and just sit there and not even give it complete attention but just so that it is playing in the background and it helps me this way also. so this is one again a good way passive learning so whenever you are like people used to lis uh, listen to songs you listen to the video so that something even passively registers in the mind and you just might recollect it during the exam hall it happens a lot to a lot of people so again a good strategy so now moving to the big subject a lot of people are afraid of that's the general studies wala section people score pathetically low in that paper so first tell me a broad approach what was your original level in the general studies and what was your approach to general studies so i was very weak in gk when i was starting very weak as in i did not even know the basic things that an indian should know about india that was my level my sister is very uh, very studious and very smart so that that per, you know one person in the family will you know there is this person who is smart and then there is this person who is just live wild i was that person so i had to start from very very basic but i knew that i couldn't sit and think about it that i don't have a base and i had to make it and i knew i have a very good time time period to learn i had around 10 months to, to my exam so i just sat down and uh, i uh, first of all i told you that i uh, just uh, looked at the exam papers and uh, see how were from where the questions are frequently asked and how the questions are asked and then i made my strategy as in first two week months i was just to uh, revise you know just get the foundation of everything i just made a timetable for the first two months and uh, first polity i would cover polity and geography together and then history and uh, modern medieval like that together and like this just every day i would put in 10 12 hours because i have nothing i had to start from the very beginning so i made sure that i was not thinking about anything else just this exams but you know that um, that um, image in my mind of me losing in that women military police that pushed me you know to keep going to never give up i thought of it again and again i i know we should forget about failures but then i kept that image in my mind just so that i'll never you know sleep through it or i would wake up every day 5 in the morning even after that to run just so that to make myself fit for the ssb so uh, i would always think about it just to get, get that push and i would work i every day gk after completing the foundation everything you know the basics from the the ncert level basics i did from the youtube videos and everything and after that i actually sat down and uh, everything whatever i learned i sat down to learn it in a more advanced way from the civil service level lectures in the youtube and um, i made notes uh, for the foundation level one set of notes that is one notebooks one notebook for everything and then advanced and another set of books and then practice another set 
So this was how my strategy went, sir, for first foundation, then advanced syllabus, and then practice. Okay. So that's very important is that failure can sometimes be that charger jo aapki journey or inspire. Karta hai. So there is this old Hindi, uh, there is this Hindi song in the I don't know if you watch Bollywood. Uh, ke mera pyar, mera intakam dekhegi. So that is the kind of thing you decided ki yaar, uh, women police ne reject kar diya hai, uh, to military police ki jaga, military mein jake officer ban ke hai. That's uh, like the kind of thing that inspired you and you were able to that actually gave you that fire because kafi, aapne bola ki you study for 10 to 12 hours a day and I know there would be days when you would be feeling like what horrible thing I am doing to my life just sitting here and studying for 10 to 12 hours a day while friends are partying, chilling, enjoying. So how did you tackle those days when you were not motivated to study when these those would be the down days when you wouldn't be performing well in your mocks and other things. So how did you deal with that phase? So uh, first of all, I had such days as in not as in uh, I'm wasting my life because I I can tell you I never felt like that in my whole journey. I I believe uh, the best days of my life were spent studying for CDS and for SSB because I was always motivated. But then I do have I do I did have that kind of days where I was very uh, weak to get up from uh, my bed or feel demotivated. But during, you know, uh, what I learned is that we have to be patient with ourselves when we are going through this journey. There will be days and uh, this um, growth is not a uh, one line, one straight line. It, it can happen like this and that is fine too. So the first thing I said to myself is that I will ever be, I will always be patient with myself. Whatever it is, however it is, if I, uh, one day if I am down, but the next day if I get up and continue my journey, that is enough. You don't have to be always strong or you don't have to be always working. As long as you're working, as long as you're, you know, willing to put in the effort the next day, it is fine to take a day of rest. Okay. So again, uh, Indulekha, it comes from usually this kind of approaches of those people jinko goals se bahut zyada inspi inspiration hoti hai. Otherwise, generally, kai log sirf man man mein sochte hain that they'll crack this exam. But you were so motivated that you didn't have that phase. You enjoyed actually the process, which is a great thing. A lot of people just desire ki we'll get that uniform, we'll get stars on our shoulders. And they just ignore the process of studying, laboring through the day. It's great that you enjoyed that entire study ka process. So that's great, Indulika. Uh, now let's move to the part of the real exam hall. What was the position? Thi? Like, just imagine yourself sitting into the exam. It's about, let's say, 10, 15 days away. What was your mental state like? And then tell me, when you exam hall, mein gai, what was your approach like? So I've told this to my friends a lot that I, um, I've i never been this studious person in my life. So coming to that point, it was very new to me. Two weeks before the exam, I started being so anxious. I couldn't sleep and I would be doing straight hours, straight hours of studies. I even when, you know, even just before going to sleep or eating or cleaning or any little thing I'm doing, I would be studying. I would be putting on a video. I'd be writing down things in the middle. I was very messy during that time and when I when I'm sleeping also um, my mother was sleeping near me because she was scared because I was talking in my sleep I was doing MCQs in my sleep <laughs> some random stupid things I was talking and doing MCQs and when I'm up I'll be practicing and then revising notes all the time I, and I knew that I was doing it right it is okay to you know put me, myself through it as long as this is what is going to get me my dream so I was very messy, but I was enjoying being that messy person. But then also, sir, I had a strict schedule and uh, very, very tight by that time. Because in the beginning, I gave myself a lot of rest time. I was, you know, take very patient with myself. But during that last two weeks, I was very hard on myself. And I even, even if I am to do it again, I'll do it the same way, sir. Because that helped me. I was very hard on myself and I kept a really, really tight schedule and I worked through everything. I did two mocks a day for the both the things, English and GK, two, two mocks per day. And I kept on evaluating myself. So, sir, and uh, I can say that for the real exam, it very much helped me because the, uh, the exam seemed very easy for me by that time because the mocks were very hard. I used to do mocks from many, many different platforms. And uh, for the exam, it took me less time. And I had a lot of time to revise, both for English and JK. 
uh but one thing i wouldn't do again is that sir if i had a chance is that not attempt so many questions in gk i attempted around 95 questions out of 120 with things like uh some in my first go sir i attempted everything i was very sure of in my second go whichever i was um, having a doubt between two options just like you said in dark arts and i had a lot of time left that i went again and i answered some questions which i had you know i've never heard before that kind of questions also i attempted a lot so i wouldn't do it again because that made me lose a little bit marks in my exam but yeah uh, i did not do it in my second attempt sir that is one i cleared but i wouldn't be going for interview so yes sir that is one thing i a little bit regret okay so one thing that she said is chaos is beautiful so if you think that your life life is haphazard in before just before the exam you are doing a lot of different subjects and dimag mein se lag raha hai khichdi ban rahi hai it's all okay guys it happens with the toppers so it has happened with indu leka so you are no exception if it's happening to you just take it as a sign that you are proceeding in the right direction dusra a barometer for you to check whether your preparation is on track is jab aap sapno mein bhi mcq solve kar rahe ho just like the way indu leka did so again it's a good barometer aisa ho raha hai to pareshan nahi hona hai you are on the right track just have healthy sleep indu leka so we'll close this part uh, this is the first part guys this is still the written exam we'll interact again with her uh, regarding her ssb journey and forward so thanks a lot indu leka for taking out the time we'll meet again thank you sir